Good morning. You're watching NBC Weather Plus. I'm meteorologist Jeff Furnieri. Hurricane Dennis creeping closer and closer to the Gulf states. Right now about 125 miles south of Pensacola, Florida. Certainly packing some very strong winds. Joining us right now we have John Van Pelt and he's a storm chaser and he's joining us out there live. John, are you there? Yeah, good morning, okay. Jeff. How good you morning. Doing? Good. I've a question for you. Being a storm trace chaser, what are the conditions like out there to you? You've got the keen eye. You know what to look for. What do you see coming your way, at least through the skies, and what should people be looking for if they're out that way in terms of uh, severe weather rolling in and uh, the, the storm coming on in? Well, right now where we are at the uh, Holiday Inn Express in Foley, Alabama, it's pretty amazing to think that there is a Category 4 hurricane with 145 miles an hour winds bearing down on us. Now, I've seen this many times before, you know, the traditional calm before the storm. But here we've got sustained winds, not even uh, in the 10 mile an hour range. The palm fronds are hardly even moving on the trees. Mm -hmm. Light rain that's been coming down in spates for an hour or so, but, but nothing that portends the danger that's coming. And it, being experienced with storms, if you can, describe for our viewers what it's like in hurricane conditions when you're out there, when the strongest winds are moving in, when the heaviest rains are there. What is it like for everyone when, uh, when they're stuck in those kind of conditions? Well, you know, it gets really frightening. I've been through a bunch of hurricanes, and every one is different. Uh, Charlie, we were three miles northeast of Punta Gorda, and uh, we went through 133-mile-an-hour winds in the vehicles during that storm, and we were taking debris at 80 or 90 miles an hour. That got frightening when the vehicles began to rock, and it was not our goal to be there. It's one of those kind of things where you've got to be close to it to learn about it, and we got closer than we wanted to. Luckily, we got that break in the five-mile eye for a few minutes. This storm is going to be very intense. It's a big storm. If it comes ashore, as the forecast holds, 145 mile an hour winds. People really need to hunker down. And once it's on shore and moving inland, one of the things we want people to, to keep remembering is this storm is going to be strong for a long time. And the inland effects in America are the, the worst effects from a human standpoint. More people drown inland than mm -hmm. get hurt on the beach, and more people drown in their vehicles. So right. one thing I want to say is if you come on water and you're in your car after this storm passes, turn around, don't drown. Yeah, that's a very good point. About 6 to 12 inches of water, as you know, can carry away a, a car which weighs you know, several hundred pounds. So uh, one other point here. Uh, we talked about what it was like for you out in, there, in the storms and what it could be like for other people. So, of course, very important to heed those evacuations. If people are still riding out the storm now, what can they do with 140 mile per hour winds possibly coming away if they're on shore? Well, here's the thing to do. If you have to be in your house because you waited too long and didn't evacuate, what you need to do is go to the innermost room of your house, put as many walls between you and the outside of the house as possible on the lowest floor possible. Uh, if you can, get blankets, get things that can block the block uh, you in around the walls. This is sort of like, you know, a giant tornado. It's going to be a debris maker. Everything it picks up, it's not the wind that hurts you, it's what's in the wind. So put as many walls between you and the outside of the house. Pad yourself any way you can. And this sounds kind of silly, but if you've got bicycle helmets, if you're going to be in the path of this storm, you're in your house, put your helmets on. Yeah, certainly some great information as this very strong storm bears down on parts of the Gulf states. John Van Pelt, we're going to come back and check in with you throughout the day from Gulf Shores, Alabama. Thanks a lot for your information. Some very, very good and uh, pertinent information as the storm gets closer and closer to us. Again, the new information coming in has the storm still on mainly a northerly trek with winds at 145 miles per hour, possibly gusting even higher. We're going to continue our coverage here of Hurricane Dennis. Also get a peek at your national weather coming up.